Well, thanks, Chris. Yeah, from a technical point of view, there's so much to admire. Now, would you hit any shot aggressively as Federer does on this particular wing? You've got to give yourself enough room to do so. So it's important to note that Federer's arm here is almost locked as he makes contact with the ball because he wants to do so as far out in front of his body as he possibly can. Now, of course, in order to get all that top spin on the ball, all that work, all that pop, as you describe it, Chris, on his forehand, he's got to brush up the back of the ball throughout the course of the shot. Look how beautifully his wrist rolls up the back of the ball throughout the course of it. Absolutely fantastic. Now, the third thing to make a note of is the fact that Federer's head is still absolutely still. Time. Eyes focused firmly on where he made contact with the ball because he knows his head is the heaviest part of the body. If he jerks it up and gets anxious and starts looking at where he's hitting the shot, he's got a good chance of mistiming it. So uh, from that point of view, uh, there's so much to admire as far as Federer's forehand.